Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And we are hopping back into the action here after that recruiting episode. And we're going up against Utah State. And this is a pretty good school. And you see they're 2-1, 1-0 in conference. They are no scrubs. We're going to have our hands full in this one. And here's the thing. We have not played any conference games. This is going to be heated in this first game. And we're going up against Jordan Love. And Jordan Love is actually a pretty good quarterback. We ju he just played a bowl game in real life, and he was just torching the defense. I can honestly see him as an NFL prospect probably in the future. We'll see. I mean, he's a small school guy. He, he has the potential, though. He's only a sophomore. But you see their running backs. They have two running backs over 100 yards and then two receivers over 250 yards. So this is going to be a tough game for our defense, but hopefully we can pull this one out here at home so here we go here's jordan love under in the shotgun running this one out to the right side and ethan aguayo is going to be there for the tackle but jordan love breaks the tackle and makes it up for 12 yards to the right side for a first down so after the first down run here's allen getting the ball up the middle and el toro allen gets about only four yards on that one so second and six here is love from the shotgun once again trying to roll out but this time isaac tagia is going to be there for the cleanup duty the true freshman gets his first sack of the game so third and seven here is jordan love throwing out to the right side and that's going to be caught but before the first down marker and we get a punt here on the first series so here is montel aaron onto the field he's had a good start to the season he, we're one and two on the season, but I think he's played pretty well, and I think he can carry that over into conference play. Here he is from under center, throwing out to the right side, and that one's dropped by the senior Trey Hartley as now we get it to a third and 11. So now third and 11 from the shotgun. Here's Montel Aaron trying to throw the ball over the top of the defender that's almost picked off by Cameron Haney as we have to punt the ball away to Utah State. So two punts early on in this game, and here's Jordan Love back out onto the field, finding Savon Scarver on that for 14 yards, and that's a first down past the 50. So here he is from the pistol, giving the ball back to Allen, and Allen's got a big hole to the right side and gets hunted, hunted down, and he picks up a gain of 20. So here on a first and 10, here is Allen on the right side, giving a stiff arm and getting out of bounds that time. The stiff arm to Dakari Monroe on that one, and he picks up the first down inside the five-yard line. So here on a first and goal, here is Jordan Love handing the ball off up the middle. He's picking up a two-yard gain on that one, and that's a touchdown, and Utah State takes the 7-0 lead. So now here is Montel Aaron back out, giving the ball to Ty Cottrell, our most dynamic guy on offense, and he picks up a gain of seven. So now on a second and three, here's Montel Aaron rolling out to the right side and throwing to Trey Hartley on the sideline. He's keeping a foot in bounds and getting the first down on that one. So first and 10 now from the shotgun again. Here is Montel Aaron facing some pressure a little bit and throws it out to Josh Oliver, the senior tight end. And that is a gain of 15 as we move the chains. So first and 10, here's Malik Roberson getting the counter play up the middle and he gets his first big gain of the game, that's a gain of 11, and that's a first down. So now, play action fake. Here's Montel Aaron throwing the ball deep over the middle, and that's an open man, but a great defensive play as Roberson actually comes up limping on that one, and he's going to be have to take be taken off the game. So now here's Tyler Nevins, the sophomore in, and he's picking up eight on the first carry on a second down play. So now we get into a third and two. Pitch play out to the left side. There's Nevins getting up field and getting four yards as that's a first down. And we move the chains close to the 25. So here's Montel Aaron under center, finding the senior Josh Oliver. And he's getting 18 yards and another first down. So inside the 10-yard line, second and goal. Here's Montel Aaron from under center, throwing out to Billy Humphreys, the backup tight end. And he gets open, he gets in for the touchdown. And that's a way to answer that first touchdown by Utah State. 7-7 seven, seven now on the next drive. So here is Jordan Love getting the handoff off to Allen. And here is Allen getting chased down by Jesse Ozuna, but not before picking up a huge gain on that one. And he gets the first down. So here is Jordan Love rolling out to the right side. This time Isaac Tagui is there once again for his second sack of the first quarter. 
and he brings it to a third and long. So here is Jordan Love from the shotgun this time, facing some pressure, getting hit on that one. And that's a nice hit as we force a punt, and Tagia is there again. So now they do pin us inside the five-yard line. Here is Nevins getting a handoff, trying to give us some room, but gets stopped on that one. So second and 10 from the shotgun. Here's Montel Aaron throwing across the middle, and that one's picked off. And that's just great coverage. We had nobody to really throw it to on that one. Everybody was blanketed, and Montel Aaron makes his first mistake of the game. So here is Allen getting the handoff this time to the right side, breaking a tackle, picking up three on that one. So now third and six. Here's Jordan Love from the shotgun. This time having all day to throw. He's going to try to scramble out to the right side. He's going to break one tackle, break another, and break another. Bruh. Three straight broken tackles. But he does move out of bounds. And that was lucky because that could have been a touchdown. So now we're down seven to ten here in this game. Here's Montel Aaron from the shotgun trying to roll out and he gets sacked. That's a loss of 13 yards on that one. And that's a big loss. Here's a third and 23 play. Here's Montel Aaron just getting rid of it. And Trey Harley isn't even going to be close to the first down as we do have to punt this ball away back to Utah State. So now to start the second quarter, here is Love from the shotgun. Play action fake to his running back and thrown out to the left side to Tarver, one of his favorite targets. And he picks up eight yards for his first reception of the game so here is love rolling out to the right side this time trying to escape but he gets swallowed from behind and that's cameron alexander the sophomore who i said is a physical freak 6-5 and he comes up with the stop there and forces the punt so now we do get the punt back and here's tyler nevins up the middle for 10 yards and that's a first down so now in a jet sweep play here is nevins lined out wide and he gets the six yard carry up the middle so third and five here, close to the 50. Here is Aaron rolling out to the right side. He's got some room to run, and he's going to pick up the first, get out of bounds, and that's a gain of 11. He does have some legs. He does have some mobility, and he uses it that time. So now first and 10. Here is Nevins getting the handoff up the middle, and he is going to make his way up for a 10-yard gain. He looked like he was going to be stopped for a couple yards, but he follows his blocks and keeps the chains moving. So now on a second and three. Here is Montel Aaron throwing out to Bailey Gaither, who takes a big hit, but he gets the first down on that one. So now on a first and 10, here is Montel Aaron giving the ball off to Justin Holmes, the, sa the senior, and he picks up five yards on that one. So now third and five. Here's Montel Aaron. Can he get into the end zone? But no, too much pressure around the edge. Nobody's open, and that's a field goal, 10-10. So now three minutes left in this first half. Here is Jordan Love getting the carry over to Allen, and El Toro Allen can't pick up anything on that one. That's a nice tackle by Caleb Oaks. So third and 10 here. Two minutes left in this half. Here is Love throwing across the middle. He's going to find his receiver for a first down as they move the chains with under two minutes left. So now pass to 50. Here is Love throwing out to the left side, and his receiver Nathan's going to hold on to that one as they get closer to field goal range. So now in a third and two, here is Love pitching it out to Allen, and look at Allen. He gets around a defender and picks up an easy 26 yards. It seemed like he had a little speed boost on that one. So now a minute 10 left in this first half. Here is Love on a second and eight, trying to roll out to the right side. He's going to get tackled by Alexander, and we get him to a third and one. So can we stop them and hold them? And here is Allen, or Love thrown out to the left side, and he's going to be tipped by Jonathan Leonard Jr., who was a player of the game a couple of games ago. He comes up with a stop. So now fourth and one. Can we come up with a stop before half? Gotcha, here is Love rolling out to the left side, and he's going to get swallowed up. And look who it is. It's Bryson Bridges there on the sack, and that's it. kind of the first big play he's had on the season. You see Isaac Tagia in there again, and then Bryson Bridges comes in for the cleanup right before half. And we got about 40 seconds left in three timeouts. So I'm thinking let's just try it, go for the end zone, but don't do anything stupid here. And we start out with a 10 yard catch across the middle. So now here's Montel Aaron on a second and inches, rolling out to the right side, gonna throw the ball deep. And that's Thai Cottrell. And he's gonna get open and he's gonna get 50 yards on that play. How do you forget about the fastest guy on the field 
and he gets behind the defense, and that's a first down. So now 25 seconds left in this half. Here's Trey Hartley getting a seven-yard reception and moving the chains. So, so we only have two timeouts left, 20 seconds left. We can still move the ball here. Here's Tyler Nevins up the middle, and look at that block. And he's going to make it all the way into the end zone for the touchdown, and that's a good block by our offensive lineman. That's the type of play that can win us football games here in conference play as that seals that touchdown and we go into halftime up by seven. So now to start the second half, here is Malik Roberson getting the handoff up the middle as he picks up six yards on that one. It seems like that injury didn't hold him out too long, only for the first half. But here is Tyler Nevins back into the game and picking up a big gain. But look, there's a clipping call and that big gain comes back. So now second and 12, play action fake on the play action veer. Here's Montel Aaron throwing out to the right side. That's caught by Ty Cottrell, and he's picking up a good 10 yards on that one. So third and four, here's Montel Aaron. Clean pocket thrown out to the right side. He's gonna find the senior, Justin Holmes, as man, it's uh, our offense is just full of seniors besides our running back, Tyler Nevins. I mean, that's probably the only young guy on our offense and Montel Aaron, but on a first down, taking a big sack, and that's two sacks that time for that guy. So now second and 18, here's Montel Aaron taking another sack. So we lose 17 yards so far in these first two downs. So now third and 27, here's Montel Aaron. We're facing a blitz this time. Ty Cottrell gets it open. He puts on a juke move and moves towards the middle of the field and can't get enough room for the first down, but we get it to a fourth and seven. We're in four down territory, might as well. So snap from the shotgun, running slants, and look at Justin Holmes, the senior. He gets open and he gets a gain of 25. So that's a big play there on fourth down. So first and 10, inside the 25 this time, throwing the ball, but we can't get rid of it. And that's a sack, and this defense is just on it this game. They are sending all kinds of blitzes as they get us to another third and long. So here's Montel Aaron. Rolling out to the right side, but throwing all the way across the field, and that's Ty Cottrell. How did they forget about him again? Another huge play, and that one puts him over 100 yards. Just take a look. Nobody is there in the area, and Ty Cottrell gets open and gets inside the 10-yard line. So now second and goal. Here's Montel Aaron throwing out to the left side, and that is somehow caught. Trey Hartley just snags it away from the cornerback on that one. Take another look. The cornerback is right there in position, and Trey Hartley gets the touchdown and makes it a 14-point lead going into the fourth quarter as J Jordan Love. Here he is throwing across the middle, and that's Vaughn's on this one. He's got a lot of room. And he's getting up inside the 30-yard line on that one. So now on a first and 10. Here is Love gotcha, rolling out bitch. to the right side. But this time he's not going to escape Latu on that one. And I like the combination of Latu and Alexander at defensive end. I think they make a great one-two combo rotating in and making sure that each guy is fresh as they go, on, go for a pass to the right side on third down and have to settle for the field goal. So now first and 10 on the next drive here is Gaither Bruh. open. Wow, and he drops probably a wide open touchdown pass on that one. And that is just a devastating play and a drop on that one. But on a second and 10 here is Bailey Gaither getting the reception on the next play, 18 yards. He makes up for it a little bit. I mean, the last one probably was intercept or was a touchdown but we have to settle for a third down conversion here, and that's gonna be an overthrow. So we have to punt the ball away to Utah State as they get the ball here to start the fourth quarter. As here's Allen, who's had a big game on the ground, breaking a couple tackles, Bruh. and he's getting all this room up the middle and one more man to beat, and Ziegler cannot bring him down. And he is gonna scamper 70 yards into the end zone for the touchdown. Take another look, our defense, what were they doing on that play? Nobody could tackle Allen, and he makes it 70 yards up the field for a touchdown. And wow, what a devastator. As we were up two scores, now only a three-point lead as it's now six minutes left here in the fourth. So now on a third and four, here is Montel Aaron throwing out to the sophomore, Tyler Nevins, and he's getting open and getting past the first down. That's a gain of seven. So now four and a half minutes left in this game. Here is uh, Hartley getting the reception on that one. 
And that's a nice throw that time. Nice play recognition by Montel Aaron as they did send the blitz. So now here is Tyler Nevins getting the handoff up the middle. And that's a gain of five. This clock does continue to run. But now on a third and fourth, thrown out to the flat. Here is Josh Oliver, and he's barely picking up the first as that was a big third down conversion, a gain of five. So now almost two minutes left here in this game. Here's Mato Aaron on a third down, thrown out to the right side, and that's caught, but no, it's dropped by Trey Hartley, and we give them an opportunity here on a fourth down stop to come up with pretty good field position. We go for it on this one. Somehow Josh Oliver stops running on that deep route, and somehow... Montel Aaron gets stopped before the first. We had so much room. And if Josh Oliver just would have kept running that route, we had an open touchdown. But instead, they get the ball back with under two minutes. So we have to come up with a stop. Here is Eltero Allen on that one, getting the nine-yard reception on the screenplay. So third and one. Here is Allen one more time, getting up the middle. And he's avoiding a tackle that time by Aguayo. And he's picking up the first down. So they got one timeout left. A minute 25 left in this game. Here's Jordan Love throwing the ball deep, and that's to nobody as well. That was a lucky throw as they get new life here on a second and 10. Here is Love, clean pocket, but facing some pressure, and this time he's going to get sacked by Owen Roberts. The defensive tackle, along with Caleb Oaks, they're having a pretty good season together so far to start this year. So now third and 17. Sending a little blitz, but here's Jordan Love stepping up in the pocket, throwing the ball deep, and that's picked off by Zamor Ziegler. And that is a game-sealing interception as we hold on to win this game off of the big turnover that time by Jordan Love. And just think about it. This whole game, we didn't give up any passing touchdowns. And wow, that is just insane. What a way to start conference play. 1-0 in conference, and wow, it feels good. We are back to 500, 2-2 two two on the season now as Montel Aaron actually had a pretty good game, to be honest. He threw the ball pretty well. Pretty, could have had another touchdown if it wasn't for Bailey Gaither and that big drop, but you know what? Our offense did enough to win this game. Our defense actually balled out as Ty Katraj went over 100 yards in this one. But our defense, our secondary, was the story of this game. I mean, what a good game they had. And our secondary pretty much just shut it down. I mean, I, I couldn't even name a big play in that game by Utah State besides that long run. And what a game by the freshman. Isaac Tagia is actually an impact player now. And he definitely showed it in his first game as that impact player as Bryson Bridges finally shows up, but only one tackle. I'm kind of disappointed in him. He is our highest rated defender. And he's not having that great of a season so we do hold Jordan Love to just 121 yards passing that is just spectacular by our defense as we did give up 164 yards though on the ground to Allen in the backfield but hey I'll take it if our secondary can play like that every week so you don't want to miss any action coming up soon I mean there's gonna be a lot of videos flying out so you don't want to miss any of that action so hit subscribe hit that like button 1-0 in conference, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.